What's going on guys? Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com bringing you a video today to discuss the recently spotted unreleased laceless Adidas Nemesis boots that we saw Vasquez who plays for Real Madrid as well as Perotti who plays for Roma both wearing in practice. Now if you guys enjoy these styles of videos be sure to support it with a like that would be absolutely fantastic but we know for sure that this shoe is coming out relatively soon because unlike previous spottings of something like this fully blacked out Perotti and Vasquez were wearing unblacked out versions of the shoe what I assume is going to be the launch color which is black and white with neon green or neon yellow adidas stripes and then it does actually say nemesis across the top of the shoe as well so that's partially how we know the name is 100 nemesis although it's spelt with two z's as opposed to two s's so i'm not sure if it's going to be pronounced nemesis or nemesis i assume they're going to make it nemesis nemesis sounds dumb nonetheless it's an interesting looking shoe and i wanted to make a video discussing what i think about it based on how it looks because i think we're going to get official releases and official information from adidas very very soon on this given that they are wearing what looks to be the launch colorway now speaking of the launch it looks like they're timing this launch for the champions league final which is coming up on june 3rd basically a week from when i'm making this video and you have a guy like Vasquez who plays for Madrid. Obviously, they are in the Champions League final, but I don't necessarily think that he's going to get in the game during that finals. So to see the nemesis or the laceless nemesis on the field during that game, I think is going to be unlikely. Obviously, Adidas does have other major endorsed athletes on Real Madrid, but you have to imagine this is the Champions League final. Most players can only expect to get here once, if, if at all. So... I think a lot of guys are probably going to want to stick to what they have been wearing either throughout the entire season or at least throughout the Champions League. A lot of guys are superstitious. You got a guy like Tony Cruz who hasn't changed his boots in years. So it's possible that we will see some new boots from Adidas, specifically the Adidas Nemesis in the Champions League final being worn by somebody, be it from Juve or from Real Madrid. But for the most part, it's a good idea to launch it around the Champions League final, but I wouldn't expect any big name players to necessarily debut a brand new shoe, wear them for the first time in such an important game. So keep that in mind as well. Nonetheless, the look of the shoe is definitely very interesting. Obviously, it's a laceless design, so it's kind of a third laceless option along with the Pure Control and the Adidas Glitch that we have right now from the Adidas brand, but it looks to be done in a different way. The first thing that really struck me as an interesting element of this particular shoe is the way that they have the strap across the forefoot on somewhat of a diagonal. It reminds me a lot of the sling, the rubberized sling that we had on the Nitro Charge 1 and 2, where that was basically just a structure element. I expect it to be very, very similar on this particular boot, which is good because you're gonna need a lot of structure because of the laceless system. Now the laceless system looks to be, or I guess the entire upper in this situation, looks to be either a knitted material, so a prime knit, or just elasticated straps. We don't really know for sure until there's official tech specs from Adidas, but what's interesting about the strap system is that it appears to kind of intertwine across the top of your foot, right through the middle, kind of creating this, not necessarily X, but intertwining elasticated straps which definitely could work out in terms of locking your foot down pretty effectively obviously with a laceless system there's a lot to consider in terms of making it performance oriented at least to to the extent that you would expect the top end shoe to perform at and obviously i've been very critical of laceless systems from adidas both variations of the pure control i think the glitch has a little bit better lockdown in comparison to the pure control but the issue with a laceless system is is two main things one being adjustability or the lack thereof the problem is if you take away the laces which allow you to tighten and loosen certain elements or certain parts of the shoe once you put that laceless boot on that's the way that it fits you can't make it tighter you can't make it looser so unless the shoe fits you absolutely perfect which for 99 percent of people that's not going to be the case there is going to be some kind of inefficiency in terms of how that shoe wraps your foot it's not going to be the best possible fit and in in regards to professional players wearing it because obviously there are professional players wearing laceless boots 
We just saw two players wearing this brand new one. They're getting custom made stuff. These are Adidas endorsed athletes. They are not getting the same version that you can go and buy in the store. At the very least, they're custom fitted to their feet, which makes a huge difference in terms of how any shoe is going to fit, regardless of whether or not it's laceless. So keep that in mind, very, very important. The second issue with a laceless system is the fact that because it's laceless, there has to be some kind of elasticated element to it so you can get your foot in and out with relative ease. They don't want you sitting there struggling for 20 minutes to get these things on your feet. Uh, with that said, the issue is that if you can stretch that elasticated system with your fingers and hands, can you imagine how much stress is gonna be on there when you're running at full speed, making quick changes of direction or planting for a strike? If you weigh 100, 200 pounds, that's a lot of pressure, which means that that elasticated system is going to stretch at least a little bit, which means you're going to temporarily lose some kind of lockdown. And that to me is one of the major issues with a laceless system in general, is that one, you're not obviously getting the adjustability, but two, you're never 100% locked down and secure. Now, with the Nemesis, because of this kind of crisscross elasticated strap system, I'm really, really curious to see how that's going to work. And I'm really curious as well as to whether or not this is the only system that's helping to hold your foot in place. Obviously with the Adidas glitch, you have the inner part of the shoe and then the outer part, which is basically the upper, but the upper is not doing too much to hold your foot in place. The inner part is really the fastening system. With the pure control, you have the outside part that you can actually see, but the fastening system is mainly down to the elasticated internal sleeve that wraps your midfoot. On this shoe, is it just the outside of the upper and you slide your foot in, or is there some kind of internal piece as well, similar to what we see on the pure control? That's gonna play a huge role in terms of how effective or how not effective this laceless system is going to be. Now I expect it to work pretty well. I don't think Adidas is gonna release something that just doesn't work well in terms of lockdown. And I would suspect this shoe to have a fairly comfortable fit and feel out of the box. I think that if you are somewhat inexperienced in regards to high-end soccer shoes, and you don't necessarily know what to look for and feel for in a new pair of boots, you're gonna put on pretty much any laceless boot from Adidas and be pretty impressed because they are fairly comfortable, it can be deceptive from that point of view. But again, from a lockdown standpoint, it does worry me a little bit, the fact that these are laceless, um, but I, I am optimistic. It does look like the best laceless design we've seen from the brand thus far. Um, also, I wanted to touch on this as well. Just because it's laceless doesn't necessarily mean it's gonna offer a better touch or is gonna be less bulky. The amount of bulk that laces actually create is pretty minimal. And if you consider the pure control as an example, you actually have more bulk because of the laceless system because there's more layers of material versus just having a thin layer of material and laces to hold everything in place. So again, the, the, the concept or the idea that laceless offers a better touch or a cleaner touch or better control. That's just something that's purely a marketing gimmick and not necessarily reality. We don't know too much else about the shoe. It looks to have a fairly standard layout as far as the sole plate and stud pattern is concerned, kind of predictable from Adidas. And in that regard, I would expect the shoes to be pretty light as well. In terms of physical appearance, I think they look okay. I know not everybody's crazy about the kind of zebra stripe design they got going there with the black and white. This is just one colorway of what I'm sure will be many of them. And of course, this is the Adidas Nemesis line, I would assume, not just one single model. So it's very, very likely that we will have an entire lineup of boots, some with laces, some without. And I'm curious to see what they're going to introduce. And again, I think you can expect something to be unveiled officially from the Adidas brand very, very soon. And we'll see other players wearing them sooner rather than later as well. So that's pretty much it in terms of what I have to talk about in this video regarding the laceless Adidas Nemesis. If you have any thoughts of your own, let me know them down below in the comment section. I'd be really curious to hear what you guys have to say. If you have any questions for me, leave them down below as well. I'll do my best to answer them for you. If you enjoyed today's video, found it helpful and informative, be sure to support it with a like. Subscribe if you haven't already for daily videos on all the latest and greatest soccer gear. You can find all my social media information linked down below in the description as well. And other than that, guys, hope you enjoyed today's video. And as always, thanks for watching.